Yo! What is up, you guys, and welcome to the Pokemon Wi Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. So, right, do the usual guys, don't forget to like this battle because this is a good one. It's sincerely as I have been waiting some time to actually upload it because it was not too long ago me and Cleo had a battle, and this was. I think it was just in the beginning where I actually started to use Magneton. I think just I think this actually hits his first battle. And you've seen how well that one has worked. Uh, nevertheless, guys, um, Cleo's bringing some new stuff. Um, Desmond has Samroth there, which is the biggest threat on her team. And also Dragon. For a few of you who follow me, you know exactly what I feel about this guy. It is the threat. I hate this poke so much. It always caused me trouble, <laughs> no matter really what it is. So anyway, I myself will use some Yavi Sig this time, Pumpkaboo, um, Muck is still around there, and Exilgo, which, you know, mixed results on this one, but still, I like using him. And Hitmonchan instead of Pedro or my Girder, because Cleo pretty much stated that uh, Girder was pretty much the only poke that made me win the last battle, and I actually agree on that. Uh, Girder has been covering her team so well every battle, though Hitmonchan is pretty much the same set, so... um. Feel kind of a douche there, maybe. I I'm sorry, Cleo. Anyway, obviously, it didn't matter this game. This was re a really close one. I I really liked it. So, anyway, guys, I'm not gonna drag it anymore. You know what? Let's actually get to it. So, right, starting off here, I did expect to go for Dragon. So, just going to bring my Mew stick, get that life by the way, uh, with a trick, expecting her to go for a sucky punch. Uh, well, I do give her the specs, but I also get her specs. She is actually especially offensive. Uh, Dark Pulse set, which is taking me out right away there, did not expect that, huge mistake on my side. So I'm gonna bring my specially defensive Muck there. Uh, just gonna go for an Ice Punch, really just, like, give it some damage, I know we can take it, but she will switch out there, obviously it doesn't do anything against Sesmito. Uh I know my uh, four guys can definitely wall whatever this thing goes for. Uh, she says a little Rain Dance, which tells me it's either a Water Absorb or most likely a Swift Slim set, set there. Um, I'm just gonna go for a lead seed. Did not think about the superior for some reason. That obviously was that. And since I'm choice banded, I have to switch out. There's nothing I really can do. Gonna bring back Mok here. Uh, gonna take that knockoff fairly bad, actually. Um, well, I don't see the reason to do anything else, so I'm actually just gonna go for Poison Jab, hoping it stays in there. Uh, obviously, it doesn't do it. Uh, I don't wanna sack off Mok just yet, so I'm actually gonna bring in my uh, Magneton. No one can take whatever this thing goes for. I did not take it, like... Um, I did take it well, but I just I was so scared what this thing actually could do. Uh, and she's gonna show me the weather ball, which does a lot actually. Uh, <laughs> so I have to switch out again, I don't wanna sack that. So now I know it's a special offensive, but not doing as much damage. I can just go for a shadow sneak here, really just give it like all that I got. Um, <laughs> though I activate the weakness policy, it is, and that shows me why it did so little. Uh, so yeah, that was kinda huge. A uh, great set there on Cleo's side, because that was actually taking me by surprise too! Um, and well, that Shadow Ball will take me out, no doubt. There is uh, really nothing I could do there. I just needed that thing to go out of the way. So I'm gonna bring my Ball Rogue here, or Ball Guys, and just go for another Shadow Sneak. Obviously taking that one out. Uh, so well, now it's two pokes that just died for, for like wrong reasons, really. So anyway, she's bringing on this specially offensive um, <laughs> Dragon. I hate this poke, I really do. <laughs> She's gonna switch her rod away there, and I just gonna go for a drain punch, knowing she has nothing that can take it well. Uh, recovering back there, uh, <laughs> go for another drain punch. I was kind of hoping that she will go for a rain dance. I just mock punch this one, just go out of the way actually. But she decides to stay in, and well, she actually <laughs> dies there. Oh no, she survived with like a glimpse of <laughs> HP. Had she gone for two or uh, very quick return before, she probably actually would take me out because considered that range of the damage. Nevertheless though, here is the Captain Jack, which is her flagship here in this battle. Uh, there is really nothing I can do, I just go into my Balrog, take whatever comes here. She will just start setting sports stance, pretty much scaring, scaring me here. Uh, go for a knockoff, which does easily 60%. I'm glad I got that Will-O-Wisp off there. Obviously there is really nothing I can offensively do against this guy. Uh, she will set up another sword stance, which puts it in a better position. Now is it back to square one? I'm just gonna try to do whatever I got really to um, really take back as much HP as possible, considering I tricked away my choice band, obviously. Um, and well, she go for another waterfall here, and uh, it doesn't do too much. But oh yeah, now I go for a trick. All right, getting that barrier right. 
Uh, I did not think about this while taking Barrel. I was kind of hoping she had a Citrus Berry uh, just to recover there. Obviously, she didn't get it. So I was thinking, all right, she might go for a knockoff here. I don't want to risk it. And I don't really see the use of uh, Magneton's uh, um, <laughs> Evil Light anymore because I still need just that bulk. And well, I just decided to switch out there, expecting an Aqua Jet to Waterfall coming back here. Because <laughs> I know I can't take an Aqua Jet uh, or a knockoff from that range. So anyway, the lead seed here will take it out, which puts me in a better position. Um, thinking about it afterward, it was kind of dumb of me doing this. I just, like, I didn't think knockoff would take that much, actually. So obviously there is really nothing I can do here against this uh, Glaceon. I just need to go for Shadow Sneak, doing something. Knowing that Frost Breath would take me out one shot, really. Um, and like I said, there is really nothing I can do here. So I'm pretty much just betting it that Beringer or my uh, Magneton could take a Frost Breath and then go uh, retaliate for a Flash Cannon. Which it does, and this means a lot here, consider there isn't real nothing that can stop this Glaceon on my team. Um, consider that I have a Mach Punch on my Hitmon, Hitmon Chan, but that's about it. So I'm gonna try to recover here. Um, I am I am really stupid, this flame for all you take me out, just forgot about the Specs thing. I was kind of thinking I could survive at least one turn. So anyway, I am at least faster, going with that Brain Punch, which does around 33% maybe. As uh, so I'm recovering some, and I'm taking that flamethrower rather well. I actually recover more than I actually take. Uh, and I get a crit there. <laughs> and it does matter. I mean, barely, but it does matter because, let's let's face it, I was probably not a 3-hit KO from that range. I, I'll probably say I actually 4-hit KO. Nevertheless, here is the superior. Uh, she goes directly for the lead blade, which, yeah, there's really nothing new here. I did still have my Excel goal. I go for an Encore. Uh, just to see how much a leap play do. I know it is resisted, so I can take at least one. Uh, because I didn't think I'll take her out with a bug bus, which I do! But! But! I have the life bulbs, I died too! This is a Sarah Sarah! Woo! So, <laughs> right, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this battle. Uh, uh, just a quick shout out here to Cleo. Uh, I do believe that you actually had this game, um, even though there is, it is a tie. Or, um, you know, I had a last poke standing, I still see you as the winner, obviously, because, let's face it, you pressured my team so much better than I pressured your team. So, yeah, I'm really glad about this battle. Uh, and also, guys, you know, the usual, don't forget to like this battle. It, it helps me out a lot, uh, helps me out to reach other players, <laughs> which I really need to do. I need to, like, branch out there, consider that I reach a lot more players, and I'm much more, like, influential on Twitter and stuff like that. I do want this trend to continue. And also, not this week, but next week, I have decided to go for a UU run. Which means I'm gonna only do UU battles. So if you have a, like a friend that does only UU, make sure to give me a heads up. Um, and also, I might actually battle a few guys on my own that's a good friend of me to only play in the higher tiers. So anyway guys, like I said, thank you for watching this battle. Love, love you guys, I, I truly do. <laughs> Bye.